Taxi drivers here at the Grantley Adams International Airport are tired of broken promises from authorities about a much needed rate increase to their fixed fee structure. And they're hoping that at the end of meetings with Minister of Tourism, Senator Lisa Cummins, they'll be able to strike a deal that at the very least will keep their heads above water. That would be ones that are in place now since 2008. I, and um, I even left Barbados and come back. See this fairly the same way. But the guys have been trying, 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 trying. Government after government. Approaching ministers and upstairs to the GIA office, and nothing has been done. I know the guys recently asked for a 30% increase on top of the fare there, but no person is given, um, a lot of deaf ear is given. Even the, they even had uh, meetings with the Prime Minister, with the Prime Minister and the President. Minister of uh, Tourism, and nothing happened. And the very guys, it's, it's not fair, you know, because we cannot, passengers that come here um, cannot negotiate with airlines. You know what I mean? They have to pay thing, you know, and it's not fair to us operating at these low rates since 2008. The last minister that did it was Glenn Clark. Since then, gas prices has been up and down, up and down, and then right now it's four dollars a liter. Because we say four, call three ninety nine ninety nine is say four dollars, and we are, you know, making it. For me too, it's not easy, you know, to be doing these distances, and you know, the fear is not fair to us. And living in the supermarket, cost of living, generally speaking, is high, and going up all the time, and it's. You know, frustrating for us taxi drivers and, you know, others on the island. I have been a taxi operator at the airport for the last four or five years. And um, when I came out here, the prices were there from 2008. This is 2021 and we have not seen a raise. Um, it's hard. You have to put in gas that is almost $4 a liter. And from here to the airport to St. Lawrence Square, all the way ever in that area, Dover, is only $31. And it is not fair coming out here working. Sometimes you get $3 a day, but you can't add up to $100. And you have to maintain your family, you have your bills to pay. And we are hoping that something would happen something will give us more hope in this year, 2021. The hotels make their own fares, and the only body cannot make our own fares is the airport, because there's a structure, there's a board, that when you get a job, they have dispatchers, they give you a ticket. And I, could, I, I am not against the ticket, because Sometimes we, the, the job worth the more than more than what the ticket gives, but they have to do their job. You know, they have to maintain uh, a living for the family. So we cannot really do anything as such. All we can do is grumble, but something that it needs to be done. So what about the representative organizations? You know, like how the port, they have taxi co-ops, etc. What, what's the situation at the airport? Well, we have organizations, we had organizations at the airport. They tried their best to get it, to get it resolved. But as I, as I said before, the authorities are not, not, in, not in favor of it. Because they make, fault, make, I would call it false promises, but nothing is being done. And, and how is the current fear structure impacting um, your life, your, your ability to feed your family and make ends meet? Well, I always learned something from my grandmother. She said if you make a penny, put down a cent or a half cent. That's how I survive at this time.